Welcome to my SEMrush keyword research tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you two juicy ways to find some keywords, especially when it comes to the low hanging fruit, and it's pretty easy to do. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my affiliate link in the description, and if you click that, you can get a free trial where you can basically go step by step with what I'm gonna be doing. Let's begin. So the first method here is gonna be utilizing the keyword magic tool, probably one of my favorite features of SEMrush, as it says right here, find millions of keyword suggestions for your SEO. Here what we wanna do is enter in a broad keyword. The reason why I say broad is because we're gonna get so many specific keywords from this, okay? So for example, affiliate marketing can be something, email marketing, we could do maybe specific product keywords like SEMrush or Shopify. These are just a lot of things that I'm thinking of because I'm familiar with those niches and products. If it was in a different niche, you could do like muscle building, weight loss, golfing, gardening, cooking, and so on and so forth. The overall idea here is that you want the keyword to be broad because we can obviously trim it down and find some of the best keywords from it. Now that I have it in right here, make sure you enter in your keyword and click on search. All right, and with that, SEMrush found 29,734 keywords, not too shabby. So what I'm gonna do here is kind of go through some of the options here and the important ones that I would recommend for you. Right now we have all our keywords, that's perfectly fine. This is gonna be a separate section and this in my opinion is a really good one. This is anytime someone is asking a question when it comes to affiliate marketing. Now, in my opinion, I think this is a fantastic little feature because a lot of people don't go after these. Either they think that the volume is too low, which it usually is, or it's just too easy of a yes or no question, which can kind of be true. Let me give you an example. What if people were searching for, does SEMrush do keyword research? And the reason I bring this up is because that sometimes might be the last question that someone has before they purchase. So these can have a whole lot of potential and they can be very powerful. Not only can you get up and running easier because there's less competition when you search for them, but they're gonna be fairly quickly to do. For example, you talk about how it does, then you would show them examples just like I'm doing in this video and then hey, you can try it out right here. That's just one example, a nice little tab right there, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna go with broad match here because I want a ton of them. You can go with phrase, exact, or related. I wouldn't do exact. You're not gonna get many keywords, right? Just affiliate marketing. Aside from that, there's volume, so you can sort by how many searches there are going to be. We can go by keyword difficulty, which we're definitely gonna do. Intent is when the person is searching for it, what are they looking to get out of it? These two tend to be the best and the more high in cost per click because someone's looking to make a purchase. SEMrush review, SEMrush versus hrefs. You know, is SEMrush worth it? SEMrush pricing, things like that. And then we have informational and navigational. Someone usually just wants an answer or they're looking to find a specific page or site. Doesn't mean that you can't obviously create content for them, but these tend to be better overall when it comes to making affiliate commissions or generating money through AdSense or just leads in general, right? We can search by cost per click. We can include specific keywords that we're looking for. We can also exclude keywords. So what does this mean? This can be very helpful. When I was doing key keyword research for golf the other day, I came up with so many keywords that related to golf carts. It was like, how do you fix a golf cart? How much does a golf cart weigh? How much does an engine cost for a golf cart? It's, you know, just random examples like that. And while these are golf related, someone who is interested in golf might not be typing those in. So what I wanted to do is just get rid of anything related to a golf cart. So I just simply typed in cart, apply and just like that, anything with a golf cart related was removed. So you can always keep it in or exclude it up to you. And then we have some advanced features if you want to play around with those. In my opinion, the best are going to be the questions and of course the KD keyword difficulty. You can click on very easy or easy or what I recommend doing is typing in zero. So from zero is our range to 29. This is going to be the very easy and easy keywords. Let's click on apply. So generally speaking, the easier ones mean that there's less competition for them, you're not gonna need a ton of backlinks to rank for them, and you're not gonna have to have a huge authority website. Compared to say a keyword that was just affiliate marketing, I believe the keyword difficulty for that was 100. Good luck with that. Okay, so as you can see here, what we can do is also sort them. So if we click on the KD right here, the percentage, I believe it's gonna go from the highest first. So after it's done, yes, so 29. This is actually a good one, 15 day challenge affiliate marketing, which is now I think the five day challenge. Let's click on it one more time. And just like that, we have a plethora of fantastic keywords that all have very low difficulty. Your chance to start ranking new pages, very easy. That's what we're looking for. So all these are gonna be great. Now the idea is which ones would we wanna write content for? 
just to kind of give you an idea, I'm going to give you kind of like a brain dump. This is going to be my thoughts as I know affiliate marketing, I'm familiar with it. And I recommend you do the same thing in your specific niche. After a while, you're going to get a good idea. Should I write an article for this? Is there a lot of competition? The answer is usually going to be like yes and yes. And then it's more about how should I angle the article? I'll talk about that shortly. So we have affiliate marketing PLR. This can be good not only as informational, but transactional. In case you're not familiar with PLR, it means pl private label rights. What it means is they're usually looking to purchase something they, they can use as their own, whether it be say like pre-written emails, courses, lead magnets, and so on and so forth. We have a review. I'm not sure what affiliate marketing Revoluti is, but you know, something like that. Spiritual cold email affiliate marketing. Let's see. Like obviously, not all of them are going to be great, like parenting niche. Like, you know, if you wanted to talk about that, you can. But low ticket affiliate marketing, this looks like a great one, even though it is commercial. But the good thing about this is that even though the volume is 30, and keep in mind, that's always going to be a ballpark measure, it can, many times it can be higher, many times it can be lower, sometimes it can be right around there. It can also fluctuate depending on if something is, say, seasonal, like different niches, like Halloween stuff around Halloween, it's going to explode. But the other months after it, not so much. You know, and I mean, same thing with Christmas and other other um, seasonal things like 4th of July, right? So just kind of give you an example there. Let's also take a look at this. So low ticket affiliate marketing. Let's crack open Google and see who's ranking for it. All right, so we have low ticket affiliate marketing. And right here I can see I have a separate extension that I use here. This showcases that they get around like 1500 organic traffic a month, which means that they are not a very big website. They're newer overall. That's a good thing. So high ticket versus low ticket, they're somewhat optimized. Like it has that in there and in the URL. Then we have low ticket affiliate marketing. This website's pretty much getting no traffic. So that's a really good sign. If you see these like really huge authority sites, it's usually not a good thing. But like I said, usually people don't go after these longer tail keywords that don't get a lot of traffic. In my opinion, that's one of the best ways to get started up and running off the ground because it's not going to take as much effort compared to trying to rank for something else where you need a lot of backlinks. This is going to be on medium, which is why they have the big authority, smaller site, overall smaller site that's LinkedIn. And once again, a smaller site. So that is a very juicy keyword in terms of like, if you'd want to go after it. So that's a good one. Let's go back over. We have some interesting uh, keywords here that I'm not going to read aloud just for monetization reasons like that one, right? Uh, best books on affiliate marketing. This is a good one. Commercial, you know, I can think of was it like dot com secrets, not affiliate marketing, but related, right? If there's any books on Amazon, if any others have affiliate programs, the thing about this, here's where I'm talking about whether you want to angle a specific post. So maybe, you know, one or two books about this, but here's the great thing. These are individuals who are looking to maybe purchase a book. So there's buyer intent then, which makes great leads for anyone who's interested in affiliate marketing. That's one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that some of these keywords, while they don't get a lot of volume, the intent is going to be fantastic. So you're going to be getting some high quality leads. So maybe the main purpose about that, whether you don't want to like send someone off and get an Amazon commission of like five cents for a book, you could always just do lead generation and make that your biggest thing. In fact, what you could do is talk about a few books and have like a small lead magnet that says, Hey, if you're interested in any more, sign up to my newsletter and get a quick cheat sheet of 10 of my favorite affiliate marketing and online marketing books. I think you're really going to like it. It's perfectly targeted and it's very easy to deliver at the same time, right? To send it to their inbox once they sign up. So that's an angle of that in case you want to go that way. Affiliate marketing for moms. Okay. Let's go with that one. That one's 11. So it's going to be a little bit higher. So expect to see a little bit more in there, but let's check that out. All right, so we have affiliate programs there. So affiliate marketing for moms, influencer SEO, they have under a thousand. That's pretty good. This is how to monetize your mommy blog. So affiliate programs for moms, once again, around a thousand or 1600. Let's see, for this one's a little bit bigger. Authority hackers, definitely a big one, familiar with them. But overall, not too shabby in my opinion. There are some, there are some decent competition there, but as you can see, like this one is 11. It's a little bit stronger in terms of like not as easy, right? CPA versus affiliate marketing. That's a good one in my opinion. Done for you affiliate marketing system. If you know any products that come with that. Okay. And so on and so forth. So this, in my opinion, is one of the best ways of doing it where you have your seed keyword and you're pretty much just looking for the easy wins right here. You can do this with any keyword. And if you're in affiliate marketing, there's other things that affiliates are going to be looking for. Maybe they are interested in email marketing as well. Maybe they're interested in selling courses in order to create a buyer's list so that they can sell affiliate offers. So obviously you can really expand out that way if you wanted to do that. Really think about that in your niche. Not only see, are you going to be creating, I'm just giving an example, 
content about how to build muscle. But what else does someone want? Ideally, someone's going to need a workout routine, right? But what else are they going to be interested in? Nutrition, maybe meal plans, food they can set up, maybe affiliate programs where they're going to order food and it comes done for them and so on and so forth. So once you have your niche, really expand upon what else someone in that niche can use. That's really going to help you dive deeper into the specific keywords that you can use. And then you can just keep repeating this process over and over because we're in affiliate marketing now. I talked about email marketing. Then there's all the companies, there's the brands, there's the keywords for those. It can really be never ending if you want. Like it doesn't have to be that long. Once you get a good amount of keywords, just start creating that content. So you don't just create this really long list and be like, well, I have a lot to write. That's fun. But okay. Nevertheless, that's going to be the keyword magic tool. Let's move on to the other way of identifying organic keywords. And it's going to be most specifically from your competitors. Let's check out how it's done. All right, so what we wanna do here is go over to organic research and I have one of my websites here, I'm knights.com, yours truly. What I wanna do is go to competitors from here. So uh, if you don't have a big website yet or maybe you're not up and running, that's fine. I would just kinda say, look in Google for some people who might be ranking for stuff that you might be writing for. And once you do that, you can paste them in there, copy and paste, write it in, and then go to competitors. Okay, and as you can see, we're gonna have some of the bigger competitors here. I'm familiar with pretty much most of these just because I've seen them before. Uh, I'm gonna use Chris Digital as an example here because he has a really good blog. I, I like his blog. I've never met him before, but I've seen him around in terms of you know the content that he puts out, and it's really good. So what I wanna do here is I'm just gonna copy this right here. In fact, now that I think of it, you don't even need to copy and paste it. Let's just click on it. Duh, it's a link. So let's click on the website that we're gonna be looking at here. And from there, what we can do is go to positions right here. All right, so now we have the organic search positions. And if you'll notice, it's still sorted by the keyword difficulty. So we have all the stuff that he's gonna be ranking for, and pretty much we can go through and see which of these are we gonna to wanna to obviously go after as well. But to make it even better, since it's sorted by KD here, we can also go into positions and we can do pretty much anything that's going to be say, uh, we can do top 10. We wanna see what's ranking and what's gonna be like the easiest to rank as well. All right, so as you can see, it's gonna start with some of the easiest and it's gonna get a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher and go on and on and on. So this is gonna be what he is ranking for specifically. So these are gonna be some good keywords we can go after. Obviously the easiest ones are gonna be at the top and it goes down as I talked about, but if you look at it, it's gonna show the position 10, three, you know, copy.ai lifetime deal. This is a fantastic one. And I've noticed just cause I, I deal with software so much is that sometimes they do have lifetime deals. And even after it ends, you can create something like the copy.ai lifetime deal. Is it still available? You could talk about how it isn't. However, there is still a way to get a discount for it and so on and so forth. So you can always answer these questions and then add a little bit more in order to encourage them to maybe get started with whatever they're looking for. Or once again, just you know, build a list. That's another great way of doing it, all right? Funnel scripts headline generator. Okay, I did some, I know I did a lot of funnel scripts stuff. Let's actually take a look at this one. So funnel scripts headline generator. All right, and it's funny, I put that in, you'll notice I'm actually number three right here. So uh, we have funnel scripts here and we have one right here, mark and blog, and I'm just gonna go to mine right here. Let's go right here, no download or trial. So I'll kind of give you an idea about how this works. So in case you're not familiar with it, funnel scripts is going to be something that pretty much it's a software that creates a lot of your scripts that you use for your funnels. Could be headlines, it could be like, you know, sales letter stuff, could be for your webinar presentations. Let's click on this here. All right, so here's the cool thing about this. You'll notice, so I have this pop-up here, so it's an extra way of getting more clicks. Uh, you'll notice that this is all centered around going towards funnel scripts. And if you scroll down, I have the floating bar on the side. I also have the video for it and also showing them exactly how to get funnel scripts for free where they can test it out with no download or trial. The cool thing about this is that if they test it out and they like it, that's obviously how they can you know, go forward and get funnel scripts. And I've made plenty of sales from funnel scripts just by creating these short little um, articles like this that are pretty much talking exactly about how they can go about using it for free so that if they do like it, they can always go about and get it. I'd say this is a perfect example of going after those long tail keywords. And even though this one isn't completely optimized for it, I talk about funnel scripts free, it still came up for the other keyword, which is good. I also wasn't in an incognito window, so the rankings might be a little bit different. But once again, this is still a good example of about how you can capitalize on some of these easy wins. Should be a pop-up as well if I move my mouse. Ah, perfect. So 
multiple ways to go ahead and get that click. Uh, I recommend using pop-ups like that. They work very well. So if you think about it, there was one right here, there's the exit pop, and we have the sticky bar on the side where they can go get it. And of course, in the actual uh, article itself. So uh, just kind of examples what I've done. I hope you can kind of learn from them when you're going about you know, doing your own keywords as well. One funnel away challenge bonus. This is fantastic. So if you're familiar with this, what this means is that someone is looking to get the one funnel away challenge and they're looking for a bonus. This is like saying, I'm ready to buy who has a bonus for me so that I can at least get a little bit more out of it. Another great keyword right here. We have flow track versus high level. High level is a, uh, a software that has really been taking off. I'm going to talk more about that on my channel in the future, but so I'm familiar with it. I'm going to go with flow track versus high level to see what this looks like. He's ranking around nine, could be a little bit less or more. So I did flow track or high level versus flow track. I think I did that the wrong way. I did it, flip flopped it or flop flipped it. There we go. So we're right down there. So once again, this is a good one because it's a comparison. Someone is saying, should I purchase software A or should I purchase software B? Definitely a transactional one. So those tend to cost a little bit more in the cost per click. The leads are better. They're looking to buy a lot of good stuff when it comes to that. And obviously taking a look here, we have flow track itself. Supply gems, a good one torch banks. I'm familiar with a lot of these. This is a newer blog here and pretty good overall. Let's go back and we'll just continue on and look for a few. Once again, we have bonuses. Uh, we have net worths. Um, Jasper Black Friday, that's also talking about Black Friday. Like that could certainly blow up, you know, when Black Friday comes. Perfect webinar script review, that's a really good one. I know I've done some perfect webinars. Affiliate lab discount, this is perfect because I know you can save $200 on that. And if there's not a lot of people doing that, all they're li literally looking for is, can I save money on this? The answer is yes, go through this link. There's not a whole lot else you have to do. That's a very big money article, as you can see commercial. So there's a lot of really good ones here. And I think that should wrap it up there. Those are gonna be the two ways that I would recommend going about doing your keyword research. We have the keyword magic tool where we can go very broad. And then from there, we can go with the keyword difficulty for the easy and very easy. And we can just go through and say, which ones do we wanna write about? And of course we can figure out our angle. Are they gonna be going towards making a purchase? Are we gonna have a pop-up window where we can get emails collected? Really gonna be up to you. And then from there we can find our competitors and then simply take a look at positions. We can see what they're ranking for in the top 10, sort it by some of the easier ones, some of the easy wins and write content about that. I hope you got some value out of this. And in case you haven't been using SEMrush or haven't tested it out, I will leave my affiliate link in the description where if you click that, you can get a free trial for SEMrush. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll do my best to get back to you. But in the meantime, my name is James. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in my next video.